I started having t t t trouble f f finding my words on Sunday afternoon. I came to the hospital on Monday morning. Now it is Tuesday morning. Since my aphasia c came this weekend, it's troublesome for me to d d drive, so Aaron is d d driving me, and we'll l let you guys d d know how it g goes. My Xanax, I think, is helping with my aphasia, so my speech is g getting better. I'll see a different d doctor about that, but we are pr pr proceeding as scheduled with my pr prophylactic surgeries. It is the morning of day two, and you can't see it, but there is a beautiful sunset outside. I was not able to sleep very much last night because my pain level is really high. Um, also, I'm still dealing with a mild aphasia, and so I'm having some trouble with my speech today. Um, but I think that's probably because I'm not on my normal medicine. Um, I'm doing different things for these few days. It looks like I will be here again tonight. My breast surgeon came to visit this morning, and I will be seeing the plastic surgeon also. He will come in. And so far, so good. Aaron is getting some rest. Is he over there? Here is what the bruising looks like today. And this is just what happens when you have those uh, deep tissue bruises. So it's, it goes down further. Yeah, I have bruising on the other side as well. I'm out of surgery. It was a lonely experience because you can't have anybody with you. So it's kind of a little bit jarring that when they call you, you 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 go and then then that's it. Um, it's painful, but not the same thing as the mastectomy where your 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 muscles are like making it hard to breathe. So I'm very glad that reconstruction. It's easier to breathe, and my doctor, he was so happy. I'm out of it, but he came in and said, oh, you're gonna be so happy. It's been almost a year now since my aphasia symptoms first started. I have been taking the same dosage of the same two medicines for this entire time. I was prescribed Xanax at the emergency room, and I, I think, also Lexapro. Uh, it took about two weeks for the medicine to, I guess, accumulate inside of my body to the point where it resolved my symptoms. And now I have to take that medicine continuously or my problems return. My prescription ran out yesterday and because that medicine resolves my issues, 100% completely. I didn't think it would be that big a deal to not have my medicine this morning. It is a big day. Uh, Aaron's 21 year old daughter who contacted us last month, we are meeting her for the first time today. And my understanding is that my issues with this uh, stroke-like aphasia is that it's tied to stress. The challenge is that I feel like I handle stress well in terms of being productive and taking care of things and I don't feel panicked. 
it's like something in my body responds and I don't have a lot of control over it. So it's frustrating. When I take the medicine, I speak not only clearly, but quickly. I'm a fast talker, but even with one day of not having that medicine, it affects me. So that's a struggle. I don't want to be on medicine forever, and I'm not sure how to resolve the stress inside of me that I don't really acknowledge unless I'm having this particular problem. Uh, I'll have the medicine soon, and Aaron and I will give another update that's a little bit clearer, but one year later, I still have the same symptoms, but I take medicine that resolves them completely as long as I have the medicine in my system.